yeah whenever the interviewer will ask you tell about yourself okay when you uh, introduce yourself or when you join the call so the first thing is before 5 minutes you will be going to join whenever okay that is the first point second point when the interviewer will come yeah hi shankar or hi shiva something okay that time what you have to give yeah hi yeah how are you yeah thank you thank you for asking yeah what about you yeah i am also good what about you okay yeah thank you okay next question interviewer so i am the interviewer i am asking so tell me about yourself for example i am asking the shankar yeah shankar tell me about yourself yeah now i am a shankar okay so you observe yeah hi yeah my name is shankar as you know yeah i have a 3 years of experience into it and uh, currently i am working for the ibm okay prior to there is no work then you don't mention otherwise yeah coming to the my previous project i am very thankful to my previous organization so because of i have learned a lot of things from there according to me changes are necessary for everyone to enhance our skills and our growth and our financial okay this is so coming to the my project my project is a apollo healthcare the client wants to need the process in power bi for their management decision in this project my role is i am responsible to attend the daily stand up meetings to get the business requirement document that is called as a bdr brds so the brds which we help to create and to prepare the technical specification from those how many types of filters how many types of slicers what are the bookmarks what type of bookmarks they want why they want really required based on that then we will create as a task in a azure devop portal the azure devop portal is a one of the internal collaboration tool which we used in the azure devop based on the task and the complexity of the task then we will go for as a source mode because of in this project i have used as a sql as a server and the database okay the user database and then i connected with a import mode because of we have the records or the we have the data set type is only the 5000 in the dimension table we have five types of dimension table and one is the sales table that is a fact table that is having the 2 lakhs records so that is the reason why we have preferred for a import connection yeah once we have connected with the power bi so basically when you connected as a unstructured uncleaned data junk data to need to transform the data in a power query editor but in the case this is a case i haven't to work with this power query editor but in earlier project i used to excel file that time i need to transform the some of the transformations in a power query editor like use as a first row as a header to remove the columns to add the columns to custom column append and then merge we have a six types of joins and we need to duplicate and then reference the reference is a best optimized way to use the table with the reference if in case we need to give the parameterization they go for the parameter and to create the parameter so this is the dynamically filter the data in the source level and after then cleaning up these data all the steps in the applied steps and we need to check with the advanced query editor okay once we have done this transformations and we clean the data then we need to push the data into power bi desktop where with the modeling and then power bi visual and the dax functions basically the modeling part my team other team will taking care of that i haven't worked with the modeling part but i know the what is the relationships and then active relationship in active relations but first we check the relationship so from fact table the dimension table is a many to one relationship or any active inactive relationship is there then we need to check then we need to start the visualization based on the customer requirements like i have a six types of report first is a high level sales and low level sales and then practitioner sales either some other report these are the six types of reports we build in my current project the first report then i have built 
like table visual and then slicer and country slicer date slicer patient slicer and then practitioner slicers put on the left side of the report on the top of we given the user given that is the image and then what is the company name everything we set right and then we need to prepare the line chart and then cluster column chart and bar chart when we showing the the what are the country country wise patients and then like uh, hospital wise patients we show in the first phase the second phase like that then we need to prepare those once we have done this report when we need to give the review for the review team once they will looks good to me then we go ahead for the manager and also manager looks good to me then we go ahead for the development workspace in a power bi service there everything is looks good to me then once we will deploy into the deployment pipelines to the admin team once the uat workspace will come then user also the review and then acceptance from the user they will give the looks and good to me then we go ahead for the qa workspace admin will team actually i haven't access to the qa workspace up to development workspace i deployed into the report from there the qa team will test the reports what we have developed if there are any bugs if there are any issues they face immediately they inform to me then and team then we need to together based on the bug and then we replace that bug and we replace that issue and then we fix it and again we deploy into the deployment pipelines here some best practices we have followed the workspace should be clean and then we should not delete the report and every time because of the report path link will change and then we should prepare the text parameter that should be text okay after that then we deployed into the production workspace the admin team will give the access to the end user the report and the report share to the user through the app app is the best option to share the report actually th there is no not required any license to share the app this is how i developed my current project this is about me thank you thank you very much then interviewer will start okay so at least you see the seven minutes in the seven minutes you try to give you try to give at least five minutes you don't give chance to the interviewer you continually what you have what is the whenever you come up your mouth first word second word then it will come okay yeah this is hope you understand this is the level of the teleport in yourself